Okay, so if you expect to do well in algebra, well, you should recognize what's going on in this problem and how to fix this. So we have 11 over negative 2 minus 3i. Now down here in the denominator, we have a complex and imaginary number, and we can't leave this expression this way. So the goal here is to rewrite this expression in a mathematically correct way. All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct solution in just one second, then of course, I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on here. You definitely need to know how to work with complex and imaginary numbers in algebra. All right, so let's see what this uh, expression is equal to. Well, the correct answer is negative 22 plus 33i over 13. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and A plus. You'd be like, uh, Mr. U2 Math Man, I don't like regular numbers, let alone complex and imaginary numbers. What's going on here? Well, actually, this is not that difficult, okay? But you certainly need to know how to work with complex and imaginary numbers. And let's see how to solve this problem right now. All right, so the first thing we need to understand that right here, we have a complex number in the denominator. So we cannot leave this uh, expression, uh, this fraction, the way it is. This is very much like this problem. Let's say I had 1 over the square root of 3. You can't have an irrational number in the denominator in mathematics. Okay, So you're trying to divide by something that is non-terminating and non-repeating. So uh, if you have any questions about like uh, how to deal with square roots in the denominator, you want to uh, look up uh, some of my videos on YouTube or maybe go to my, my Algebra 1 uh, course on rationalizing the denominator. In other words, we can't have this like this, okay? And of course, hopefully you understand this, but how do we deal with this, okay? Well, to kind of rewrite this fraction, 1 over the square root of 3, we would simply multiply the denominator and numerator by the square root of 3 and clean this up. Of course, we would end up with the square root of 3. Square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is a square root of 9, which, of course, is 3. So basically, we're going to write 1 over the square root of 3 as a square root of 3 over 3. And now we do not have an irrational number, a square root in the denominator. Okay, so this is not like an optional thing in mathematics or algebra. You need to do this. So effectively, this is kind of the equivalent type of scenario when we're dealing with complex numbers because we're dealing with this little i right there. So a complex number is always in the form of a plus b i. So this is a form of a complex number where the A part is the real number part and the BI part is the imaginary part. And I is equal to the square root of negative 1. Okay, so down here we have a square root situation. So we're going to have to resolve this. And really this is the whole kind of, a, uh, you know, a main idea of this video. Okay, so uh, now that you kind of see what's going on, how do we resolve this? Well, we're going to have to multiply uh, the denominator and numerator by something called the conjugate, okay? And hopefully you're familiar with that. This is, uh, again, stuff that you should have seen already in like Algebra 1. All right, so you can kind of see I've already done the work here. It's going to take a look at what the conjugate is. So here is our problem. We have 11 over negative uh, 2 minus 3i. The conjugate is basically the same uh, uh, binomial here, right? We have two things, or complex number negative 2 minus 3i. So whatever the sign is, this is minus. All we're going to do is put the opposite sign. If this was plus, we would put minus. This is minus. We're going to put plus. So negative 2 plus 3i is the conjugate. So what we're going to do, okay, is uh, multiply both the denominator and numerator by the conjugate. Now, we're not breaking anything because if you kind of take, uh, you know, stand back for a second, let's just look at this right here, okay? You're, you have negative 2 plus 3i divided by negative 2 plus 3i. Anything divided by itself is just 1. So we're not, you know, changing the problem. We're just using this little kind of trick to get rid of um, uh, the, any i's or square roots in the denominator. So at this point, basically we have one big multiplication problem. So we're going to have to multiply 11 
times negative 2 plus 3i, and then we're going to have to multiply these two binomials uh, right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with the easy stuff first. Let's handle this part of the problem. So 11 times negative 2 plus 3i, we'll just go ahead and use the distributive property. So 11 times negative 2 plus 3i, just simply distribute that 11. So 11 times negative 2 is negative 22, and then 11 times 3i gives us 33i. Okay, so that is our numerator, okay, and we'll come back uh, to this here in a second, but we basically uh, kind of uh, polished up that numerator, and this is it, okay? But now we're going to have to do some uh, work here on the denominator, right? So this is going to require a little bit more work, but let's go ahead and get into that right now. Before we continue with the video, please take a quick second to help me out. So what I need you to do is to hit that subscribe button. This really does help my content reach as many people as possible on YouTube. And if you're going to do that, make sure to hit that bell notification as well so you know when my latest videos are posted. All right, so let's go ahead and get back to the video. Okay, so now um, here we have negative, uh, negative 2 minus 3i times negative 2 plus 3i. So what is this situation? Well, this is no more than like in, let's say, a basic algebra problem. Let's say a 2x plus 1 times x minus 5, right? So this is a binomial times a binomial. So how can we multiply these two right here? Well, you would just use the FOIL method, first, outer, inner, last. But when you're um, dealing with the conjugate, you could also uh, see that we are dealing with the pattern a minus b times a plus b. So to find the product, and this is a, uh, the pattern here, if you notice, it's the same pattern, we could just um, use the difference of two squares, square negative two, and square three i to kind of simplify this. Now, a lot of you um, use this uh, kind of procedure, this technique, you know, in your classes, that's probably what your teacher is showing you. But I'm going to go ahead and just use the FOIL technique. Um, again, if you want to see more of this, I would definitely uh, suggest checking out like my Algebra 2 course, or maybe for those of you that are in pre-calculus, I teach this uh, more than thoroughly. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the FOIL method. That's again, that's first, outer, inner, last, basic algebra stuff. So let's go ahead and do this right now. All right, so we're going to find the product here. So we're going to do the first. So that's going to be negative 2 times negative 2. This is our first. Okay, then our outer is going to be negative 2 times 3i first. Outer, our inner is negative um, negative 3i times negative 2. That's our inner. And then our last is negative 3i times uh, positive 3i. That is our last. So let's go ahead and just uh, do this one by one. So what's the first? Well, this is going to be negative 2 times negative 2. That's positive 4. All right, so what's the outer? That's going to be negative 2 times 3i. That's negative 6. What's our inner? That's going to be minus 3i times a negative 2. So that's going to be a positive 6i. And then our last is going to be a negative 3i times a positive 3i. So that's going to be a negative 9i squared. Okay, so now let's go ahead and continue to clean this up right here. And uh, let's go down here. So we could first uh, see we have 4, negative 6i plus 6i. So these are going to cross cancel. We can get rid of those right there. So we're left with 4 minus 9i squared. All right, so let's go ahead and take this a step further again. We have to get rid of all the i's and i squared. So what is i? Okay, this is the definition of an imaginary number. So i is equal to the square root of negative 1. Now, if I square i, okay, both sides, i squared is going to be what? Well, i squared will be equal to negative 1, right? So these are things that you definitely need to know when you're dealing with complex numbers. So i squared is equal to negative 1. So I can replace this i squared with a negative one. So that's what I'm doing right here. So now we have four minus nine times a negative one. So negative nine times negative one is uh, positive nine. So now we have four plus positive nine is 13. Okay, so this is our denominator. So let's go ahead and put this all together. So recall, 
when we multiply the numerator, 11 times this negative uh, 2 plus 3i, we ended up with this right here. And then when we did all this work right here, we got a 13. And this is our final answer. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in advanced math, check out these courses right here. So these courses, Algebra 2 and College Algebra, these are effectively the same level of mathematics. So whether you take my Algebra 2 or College Algebra uh, course, you're going to get the same material. Now, if you are further along in math and you need to study like advanced trigonometry and other topics, then check out my pre-calculus course. All right, so I'm going to leave uh, links to all these courses in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.